Driving to LA like a pro. It's not bad. I thought it would be harder, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, we hear you. I'm sorry. Like a little baby Max. I know, baby. So we got my cats here. Nikki's being so gracious. Letting us crash for a day or two. It's gonna be little Max buddies. Max is never like another cat. Really? But I know there was a cat outside of our front door. Max like ran out the front door once and tried to go to it. And then that cat like arched his back and hissed and ran off. Oh, but he Max ran up close it, to it? Max was just, just like, no. I mean, not that close. <laughs> I know that cat was pissing nice one. Max just he seems super chill and I, I think it'll be fine. Thank you. Can I put them down in the room first or something to see how they do? Or just let them out or you think? He doesn't even seem to notice. Not yet. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Max, come here. Max does not care. Good morning, sunshines. Whoa, I just walked past Bernard. He looked kind of creepy. Anyways, um, Ashley and the cat stayed the night. We had a successful night. It didn't destroy too much, so good for them. A little baby Max. And now, I'm going to brush my teeth and make some breakfast. So these are my current current morning dailies. I brush my teeth, and then after I use my mouthwash, and then I wash my face while I'm rinsing out my mouthwash. This is the toothpaste that I use. This is the lotion that I put on after. If I wear makeup, I use a different lotion. I just use this one because it has SPF. And then deodorant, and that's, you know, the basics. All drugstore brands, nothing fancy. For breakfast, we have a little bit of cheesy eggs, turkey bacon, and some Kodiak cake waffles. That's so cute. Yeah? Also really annoying, but so cute. Follow Every everywhere. single thing that you do, they get into. Like I was in there and I was trying to organize clothes and I had this like basket and then every time I turned on they were in the basket. I was trying to rearrange the rug and then they were on top of the rug and I was like, get the fuck They you follow know? you everywhere. So the Nikki offers me a donut. She's like, oh I bought donuts. You want one Ashley? Look at this. Who does this? <laughs> Takes a bite of each one. <laughs> Nikki, you're that person. I was like telling them how you offered me a donut. I looked at the side like she bit off every donut. <laughs> <time. laughs> All right, light is somewhat lacking at night in the apartment. I have come to find, but that's okay. I'm about to bake my oven for the first time. A pizza, a frozen pizza. That's right. As y'all probably already know, I always like the California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken. That's what I'm going to eat. I almost forgot to show you. I'm having a little glass of champagne to celebratory for myself, I don't know. <laughs> but here's the pizza, I kind of burnt it. Well, when you get a new oven, you have to, goodness, sliding is just fucking abhorrent. Anyway, when you have a new oven, you have to learn how it works. If it runs a little hot or a little cold, and this one definitely runs a little hot. It's Sunday. I'm gonna watch a movie and go to sleep because um, my life's exciting, but this week's gonna be good. It's my birthday this week, so I'm pumped. I'll see y'all later-ish. Nikki pick the new bras though. Nikki B times Gymshark. Pants too. So I got a text at like 5 a.m. this morning from Oscar, who's the guy that I was supposed to do a photo shoot with the day I got my appendix out. And he was talking about our photo shoot that's tomorrow that I totally forgot about. So, three, top three things before a photo shoot, if I can manage it, are spray tan, my hair, and then makeup, of course. So, I'm on my way to go do a spray tan, which is why I'm looking real ratchet. Not that I need an explanation. These are like low key of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I knew a big part of my struggle with LA was gonna be, where do you park when you need to do things? Because Texas is just big, spread out. There's parking everywhere, it's never an issue. So I knew that that was gonna be an issue, but I made it to the spray tan place, which I've been to probably a dozen times, but I've never driven myself because I always go in Ubers when I'm visiting because I'm just visiting here from wherever. Therefore, I was quite excited that I found this parking lot, whatever, um, very quickly. I had to get a little ticket, so I guess I have to pay for it, but I mean, at least I found this Sugared and bronzed. Hi, bye. Here you go. So I'm spray tanned as hell as you can see. Oh, it's a stop sign. Brilliant. I know what I'm doing. Went to Starbucks, got my parking validated, got my tan, obviously. And now I'm headed back to the house. Ashley and I, um, we were gonna run a couple errands. I don't know if we're actually gonna do them now because I ended up having to squeeze this spray tan in so I can do my photo shoot tomorrow. Now it's five o'clock, so I don't know. We need to go to the P.O. box and open a P.O. box for me. And we are going to go get a storage unit to put all the stuff that's in the back of my car still in storage. Okay, so that's the, that's the game plan right now. Okay, YouTube, it is today. Saturday. <laughs> It's Monday night, and we're going to see Split at the movie theater by my place. I think it's gonna be good. I'm going with Chad. You'll never see Chad because he's too tall and he'll never make my footage. So it's cool. So house tour, step one. You walk in the door, straight to the right is gonna be the laundry room. Not much to see there, it's just a washer and dryer. There's a litter box, but I don't wanna show the litter box. After laundry room, we have a little half bathroom, which I really like because the guests don't have to use the bedroom bathrooms. So it's just a little tiny one. Then we're gonna go ahead and start with the guest bedroom and go from that way of the house all the way to this way. The, we're gonna go east, does that make sense? <laughs> The guest room is really cute. All I've got in here is a queen bed, a rug, a couple chairs, and it has like an open walk-in closet. And then it also comes with a cute little, I think he called it a Juliet balcony possibly because you can't put furniture on it, but you can, it's just like a step out balcony. But it's pretty cute. Um, I like it. I'm kind of scared to have it open because I don't want Max to get out, but he's not very adventurous, so there's not much to worry about there. And then guest bathroom, pretty simple. It's got a good size shower, floor bathroom, good size sinks, lots of storage. Very happy with the guest room, which will be Sammy's room when she moves in here in May or June, whenever she gets over here. And in the dining room, I've got the same table, chairs, benches that I had in the last place. Um, I thought when I moved in that the kitchen island was gonna be an island that you could put chairs under, but it's not. So I've got these two chairs by the window so you can look out the window as you sit in them. And then the desk, since I don't have space for an office, I put it right behind the couch. So, so far so good. I'm liking the way that's laid out. The kitchen. Super nice, very spacious, lots of counter space, tons of storage, I haven't used it all. Um, it's mainly where I've put all my knickknacks that I had from before. And I love the kitchen. There's like a gas stove with like five burners, which is cool. So I'm very happy with it. Moving on into the living room, I got the new couch. It's the only thing that's new in here. Otherwise, it's the same TV, coffee table, everything else that I had from before. There's kind of a big pillar that I have to work around, but other than that, uh, the living room is nice. I put the rug that was in my bedroom before in the living room, and I like it because it's squishy. So that is gonna be um, the new and improved living room area. And of course, the view right now, the view from the main living area is just phenomenal. So that's the best part, of course. Master bedroom is quite a bit smaller than my last master. I had to get rid of some things, um, but I still got my mirror, my world map, my TV, a king size bed, two stands. I like the way it's laid out. The windows are really big and spacious, uh, but it's yeah, a nice room. I have two closets. Neither of them are walk-in closets, but they actually have a lot more space than I thought they would. And then master bathroom has a tub and a shower, which I like. The shower's actually really spacious and storage. So I'm really happy with it. Overall, the house is awesome. Fucking love it. I'm really pumped and excited to live here. I have no complaints whatsoever so far. All right, guys, that is gonna conclude the house tour for the day. Um, it was pretty quick and easy. We furnished this place so fast, me and Ashley like put in work and killed it. So all the artwork's up and everything now. There's like three more things to hang up and then we're done. That is pretty much my new Los Angeles. Um <laughs>